Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, from Quebec City, we present our Showtime Extreme featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Group Yvonne Michel, Interbox, Don King Productions, and Showtime. At this time, we introduce our judges, scoring from ringside, all from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Les Juges pour ce combat, Richard Blouin, Nicolas Esno, and Marie-José Guérin. And introducing our referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Alain Villeneuve. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing in a super lightweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, Dans la Coin Rouge, wearing green trunks with gold trim, representing Chicago and fighting out of Cicero, Illinois in the United States. His weight, 139 and one half pounds. His record, 14 wins, three losses and two draws, with nine wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Rouillé, Acouillère, Adrian, Tigre, Granados. Granados. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, Dallacoin Blue, wearing black trunks and fighting out of Pompano Beach, Florida, by way of Albany, New York, in the United States. His weight, 139 and one half pounds. His record stands at an unblemished 18 wins, no losses, 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the WBC Continental America's champion, ranked the WBC number one super lightweight contender in the world. Introducing Vuye Akuye, the undefeated young master, Amir Imam. Oh, once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Alain Villeneuve. Let's get out, everybody. Kevin Fernando received my information about the fight. Obama come out of time, protect yourself. Touch your glove. Good luck. Mary? Right? So here we go, round one of this 10-round fight. Amir in the all-black. Renato's coming right after it. Smart move. Let's see if he can maintain it. He's a high-energy fighter, Granado. And that's right. his best bet to win, outwork Imam. Cannot get careless against Imam, though. He will make you pay. Watch your head. Watch your head. Little left hand gets in with Imam's back to the ropes. And a left hand of the body by Granados and comes upstairs with the left hand. If Granados is going to walk to Imam the way he is, first Imam is going to try to discourage that with the jab. And then he's going to put together the jab and the right hand. And that's when the real test will come. He has an outstanding jab. And if the fight's fought at long range, it is all in favor of Imam. Granados, to his credit, showing a lot of movement. <laughs> Imam slips the left hand in. Imam, there's that jab, and it's really a good jab. See that left hand? Short, straight, right hand. Five, six, seven, eight. Give me your hand. Box! Well, that's everything that Amir Imam is. <laughs> yeah, really. It happened quickly. That's the sixth time Granados has been down in his career. Now they got right hand. And Granados gets out of there. Right hand of the head, left hand of the body by Imam. And another sharp right hand. And a left hand of right hand behind him. Granados in trouble again. How sharp does Imam look? Oh. Still a minute to go in this first round. Not wasting any punches. And this is the same Granados that opened the fight. 
attacking and coming right at him, Mom. And now, <laughs> that's not the case anymore, Barry. That doesn't seem like as good an idea now as it did there. All right, that's the combination there. He took a counter right hand from me, Mom. If he gets lazy with that left hand after he throws it, he has a problem. And Barry, some fighters, we've seen it so often, when they score a knockdown the way Imam did, they start going right hand happy. That's not Imam. No. He's controlled, and he's not, even though he's a young fighter, he's not going to let that moment uh, get the better of him, and he tries by trying to repeat it every punch. Absolutely, absolutely. That's one of the things I like about him. There was a right hand from Granados that slipped in there, and he's still battling. too much okay listen and you're gonna have to back this guy up a little bit you know you can't be running and saying at the end of his punch you okay? we talked before the fight barry about amir and mom's one punch power he gets a little distance by taking a couple of steps back that's all about understanding range which is so critical and uh granados did not seem to ha totally have his feet under him when he got up Another look, watch, watch him mom take a couple of steps back. First he bent, look at it, beautiful steps out of reach of the left hook of Granados and then steps in with his right hand. That's where, that's understanding that reach advantage. Just magnificent move to score that knockdown with the right hand. And a straight punch right down the middle. No arc on it. That, you know, I think that's the thing that strikes me about him, mom, is he, he just seems to be so ring wise beyond his years. There's no doubt. I'm looking at how old he is. He's 25. He fights like a 30, 32 year old veteran. Barry. Absolutely. You're right. This is round two. And it's not for a want of trying on the part of Granados. Well, boxing's a strange game that way. Sometimes when you try, all it gets you is a headache. Yeah. <laughs> you try and you end up on the floor. But Granados seems to understand that his only hope is to make this a little bit of a messy fight and get close. You let a mom extend those arms, especially that right hand. You're inviting a knockout loss. This, 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 right hand from Granados. About a four punch combination, two to the body, two to the head from Granados. This is where Granados wants the fight. Well, the mom does box on the inside with his hands pretty low. That, that's right, something maybe right. he and uh, his trainer, Stacy McKinley, will work on in the future. He's slick on the inside. He'll slip a lot of punches, but he can't get hit. We saw it yeah. before yeah. Fidel Mal Maldonado on Showtime. That left jab, even though he throws it from his hip, is so quick. Similar move to the knockout move, yes. uh, Imam taking a half step back as Granados comes forward. There's that jab three times, four times. It's not really a no-nonsense jab, too. It is, and he's trying to split the guard of Granados, who keeps his hands up as Imam is jabbing. That's a right hand from Granados. Granados is definitely... He's trying another right hand, pretty good one. And he has found a home for that right hand, has Granados. There's a left hand with Imam against the ropes. Now Imam turns it, just missed with an uppercut. Barry, no reason for Imam to be stationary along the ropes. Really, is no reason. Maybe he's showing off a little bit, showing that he's slick along the ropes, can slip punches. But why fight that fight? Why not keep the fight in ring center? It's actually a much better round for Granados. Good right hand from Imam. Much more competitive round though, Steve. Yeah, and if you're familiar with Granados, you know how tough he is. It's not surprising that he's come back. End of two. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, mate. Let's go. Off your jab. Watch, watch him charging. 
right. Round three of this 10 round fight. Much more competitive second round. Imam had Granados down in the first round with a sharp right hand. Watch your head, watch your head. No holding, no holding. We talked about Granados needing to uh, out punch Imam, at least in terms of numbers. Well, he threw 81 punches in round two, and Cut he actually off, outlanded Imam. I gave Granados the second round. There's an uppercut. Right at the moment, it seems Imam is fighting Granados. Fight. Over and under, over and under. I fully agree, Barry. And the question is, is there any reason for it, for, for Imam to fight that right, fight? The back. We'll punch. It doesn't seem, Granados does not seem to be threatening him with his punches. But you don't get hit for that reason. So... Now this is where Imam would want the fight, I would think, where he could work the jab, bring the right hand behind it as he did in the first round. A little clash of heads there also. A couple of right hands from Granado, and he is finding a home for that. Midway through round three. Doesn't seem to be a lot of pop on Granado's punches. That puts him at a big disadvantage because he's not the better boxer. And if he can't punch as hard as Imam, not that we thought he could, but he's only got only nine knockouts in 19 fights. Good body shot with the left hand. That almost doubled Granado's up, but he comes right back. With a sharp right hand. That one just missed. There's a chopping right hand from Imam. And Granados, why well, he eats a big left hook there, but Granados is outworking Imam when Imam is on the ropes. Even though Imam is slipping a lot of the shots, getting low, bending at the knees, doesn't look good to the judges. The fact of the matter is, and when you throw more punches, you win the round even sometimes when you don't land those punches. So Imam has to think about that in the future. Hey, Imam continuing to fight the fight, but that gives Granados the best chance. Let's put it that way. Exactly, and you, you project to the future. What if Imam were fighting a puncher, uh, a, a puncher? He's taking a lot of shots, actually. Granados mugging at his man. I thought he did enough in that round as well. Well, this is round four, and we talked about the, the fact that this could be a tougher fight than perhaps Amir Imam would want at this stage, and it's proven to be so. Yeah, and after that first round, who would have thunk it? Well, in round three, Barry, uh, show stats, Granados landed 28 punches to 18 for Imam. I agree with you. I gave him the round. But they're interesting rounds to score because clearly Imam is landing the harder shots. Yes. Just not as many. Well, uh, Granados is also dictating the tempo of the fight, which at least in theory, the judges are to consider. Well, it's up to Imam to discourage Granados' forward progress by landing that jab, the straight right hand. Just missed for the right hand there. He's just measuring him with the left hand. And the power shots. You see uh, Granados. Power shots landed Granados with the advantage in every round except the first. That's a running total in round four this round. Watch your head, Watch your head. And Imam, who scored the knockdown in round one, didn't even have that big an edge there, 18-14. Interesting. Yeah, Granados fighting a very intelligent fight. And he still has the fight where he wants it. Chopping right hand from Granados, an uppercut by Granados, and a left hand behind it. Two body shots by Imam. This is all on the inside, Barry. Yeah. Imam coming upstairs after two body shots with the left hand in the head. 
If I were in Granados' corner, I'd say just punch. Don't worry about what you hit. Don't worry about if you miss. Don't worry about if you land on the forearm or the shoulder. Keep punching. It's his best chance to win over the, the uh, judges. Absolutely. And I think he's doing that. Imam has not really been able to land consistently to the body when they're fighting on the inside. This round, he's, he's, he's trying to. He's taken a lot of shots. Took a right hand to the chin just a moment ago. There's a left hand behind it. There's a combination from Imam. But Granados just continues to stalk him. And by being in this close, he's taking a lot of the power away from Imam. Doesn't allow Iman to use that jab. There's a three-punch combination by Granados. And again, a four-punch combination by Granados. Chopping left to the head by Imam. But Granados outscoring Imam about three to one. It's a fight, Barry. Yes, it is. Right hand from Imam. Big round again for Imam, I believe. And it has changed completely from the early action. We talked earlier about uh, Amir Imam's ability to judge distance and use the reach advantage. Well, that's gone out the window now. Now, Imam has landed some body punches and a very nice left hook. I still maintain he's landing the harder shots, but certainly not more. Uh, the punch connects in round four. We're almost even, 32 to 30 right. for Granados. That's interesting. I, I would have thought Granados would have had the edge, a bigger edge, in terms of volume. And again. In close quarters, and that gives Imam, or rather Granados, the best chance. Four punch combination from Imam, and a good four punch combination. Watch your hand. Watch your hand, guys. Now, Imam with a two-punch combination, then he extricates himself from the ropes. We're only in round five, but in terms of the pace, which actually has picked up, Granados has been 10 rounds three times. Yeah. Mom only been there once. Look at the total punches in Granados. Almost 100 more punches thrown. Yeah, and, and, and more landed as well, which is interesting. You figured he might be busier, but the, uh, the, the bigger number in connects is a little bit of a surprise. But as you said, Barry, this fight's being fought on his terms right now. Yes, absolutely. And, and one of the things that you always do keys to victory in this fight, and one of your keys for Amir Imam, and you touched upon this, was established distance, which he's not done. One of your keys for Granada is punch often, which he has done. Imam did a great job of establishing distance in that first round, but not since that knockdown. Interesting. And again, Granados, not, not a lot of power, but a lot of volume. Even with his back to the ropes, Granados scores. Imam with a shot to the body. Granado will right to the head. Imam trying to work the body. Granados trying to work the head. And again, three punches to get himself off the ropes. And a right hand, reaching right hand. Well, to Imam's credit, even though he might not be fighting the right fight, he is punching to the body quite a bit, and that could have an effect long term because he's such a big puncher. Yeah. Can't give away too many rounds, though. Although he had a 10 8 edge in the first round. And just a reminder of what we said at the top, Barry. Amir Imam, should he win? He's the mandatory challenger for Victor Postol. He's should backing he up now. I wonder if Granados hurt him. He loses his fight, that title shot, which is a mandatory, goes out the window. And Granados has Imam pinned in the corner and continues to dish out punishment. There's another sharp right hand by Granados. A right hand by Imam. Left hand to bottom by Granados. Another big round by Granados. Look, man. Listen. Listen. You pull the straight back in front of this guy with your hands down. And he clean up, hit you with these shots. Okay? You finishing up, you're doing this. You pull it back in front of him, step off the either side, Amir. 
Start to move your head. Now wake up. Start to move your head, okay? Okay? You letting this guy in this fight? Action from round five. Granados in familiar territory right in the grill of Imam. Left hook. Earlier when they were fighting on the inside, Granados was landing punches, but nothing big and nothing really clean. Now you see in round five with the super slow-mo camera, he's landing clean power shots. 47 connects for Granados in round five. You saw some of them, a lot of them came in the last 30 seconds as we take a look at action from late in round five. And, and you see Imam with his mouth open, which could indicate the fact that maybe he's getting a little bit gassed, or I would not think so. I don't think I've ever seen him be like this as a fight has gone on. But right now, at least on my card, I've given the last four rounds to Granados. And and what we haven't said, Barry, in a while is good jab by Imam. Exactly. Right, well, it's hard to do when your guy six inches away. There's another combination from Granados. And I credit referee Alain Villanueva for letting them fight on the yeah. inside. Barry, you, you gave uh, the last four rounds to Granados. I presume you have them ahead. I, I, yes, I do. Okay. I do. Uh, Even with the 10-8 round one. 48-46. Okay, I have a 47-47. Not a position we thought Amir and Mom would be in at the halfway mark of this fight. No. We weren't sure there would be a halfway mark of this fight. Especially given what happened midway through round one. There's blood from some place from someone, and I can't quite tell who it is or where the blood's coming from. Another combination, five, six punches from Granados with his back to the ropes. There's an uppercut by Granados. I want to say there's a left eye cut. Oh, flush Good shot. shot. And another good left hand by Granados. He's keeping the fight right where he wants it. Imam tries to push him away, and Granados just walks right through it. Right at the moment, Granados is beating Imam up. Granados, not the biggest name Imam has fought, but he's given him the toughest fight so far. I'll say. Imam holding on right now, just clamping the hand of Granados down. But the referee allowing them to fight with one hand free, as he should. Oh, good counter right hand from Imam. But right back comes Granados, misses a wild right hand. And Barry, the question you have to ask now is, is Imam still strong enough to show that power that we saw early in the fight? He's, he's definitely being tested. It's going to be interesting to see from here on out. Three punch combination from Imam. And right back with five punches of his own, although they were really pity pats, but. Granados reaching right hand. Another one for Granados, yeah. I think, Barry. Yeah, I think so too. Sit down, sit down. Give me that, give me that this way. Get in this way. Put your on the water. Listen, take that mouthpiece out of the mouth. Listen, the guy tried to stay on top of you. Use your jab to keep him on the outside, okay? He won that round. You got, to, you got to keep the jab. You got to get it working. It will work. Okay? Get the jab working, all right? Okay, now this guy, this, hey, this fight is tough. Put the water in the head. Okay, work on the job. Get the water in the head. Put the tape on it. Action from round six, really not all that different. What was different in this round was that Granados actually at one point was against the ropes. Here he's in ring center and lands again, flush shots. But even when he was against the ropes, Barry, he was effective and landing some big shots. Still can't tell where that blood is coming from, nor from whom. 
seems to be up on the bridge of the nose of Granados. Well, Stacy McKinley wants Amir and Mom to move a little bit and establish that jab, which means he needs room to extend it. He's showing a little bit of movement. Let's see if he's successful with the jab. Yeah, and you might have heard him. Mom said jab's not working, and Stacy McKinney said, make it work. <laughs> well, he needs the legs to make the jab work because he has to establish distance. And right now, he's moving, but not jabbing much. See, once again, now Granados is just basically walking to him, Mom. So much for the movement. Yeah. Two good right hands, another right hand. Body shot with a left hand by Mom, but he took a left hand from Granados. They're right above us, Barry. And, and my question is, would it be the worst thing in the world if a mom held and asked the referee to break them? To not, buy a little time? He could do that. You know, it's it's not against the rules. But yeah. he's choosing to fight on the inside yeah. and never holding. Another good combination. Now there's blood on the face of Imam. And again, not certain where it's coming from. I don't see a cut around the eyes. Again, a left hand. Granados missed with the right. But Imam is starting to look like he's been beaten up a little bit. Yeah, and a bad sign that he opened the round with some movement, tried to establish the jab as the round progressed. That movement disappeared. Granados has been averaging about 90 punches per round. He's going to need to keep doing that. Yeah. Punches seem to be pushed a little bit more than they have, but I'm not sure Imam has any more in the gas tank than Granados does. And, and it's Granados getting Imam going backwards. Going backward, Imam is, is uh, his feet are parallel. He can't get any power on his punches that way. And his hands are low. He's getting worn out. Yes, that's the way it seems. I think Granados has lost a little zip too, but I'm not sure. If it, but it's not Imam; it's lost more. Blood from the nose of Imam, and Granados just not stopping. And another good round for him. Listen, listen, we lose this fight. Okay, sit down. We lose this fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, you got your head down, trying to work on the inside. You got the box, A. Eh? Get him out, please. Deep breath. Come here. Come here. You're losing this fight, brother. Do this. Then you got, you got the guy. Stop backing up. Okay. You got a dead man in front of you. Okay. He's ready to go, Adrian. You got to work hard. Okay, let's go. Okay, Adrian. Come on. Let's go, baby. Come on, let's go, boss. Give me a bounce. Get up and bounce. This is round eight of our feature fight of the evening here on Show Extreme. Still to come, a full night on championship boxing. Main event, Luchin. Boutte against James DeGale, the battle for DeGale's title. I'm Barry Tompkins, Steve Farr, right. alongside, on, and this has on, been a on. big right. surprise, but maybe not quite that big. Yeah, I'm with you, but it's refreshing, Barry, because it just goes to show a fight is fought your, inside the ring, and we all have presumptions before a fight. Mom, uh, hey, I've been, you know, I've been talking him up since we first saw him. Right now, he's getting out fought, and maybe if he's really special, he'll find a way but that way is going to have to be another knockdown, if not a knockout. And you can tell him they were aware of the fact that Granados getting tired in his corner, but so too is Imam. These are two tired fighters, and whoever can just dig the deepest likely to win this fight. I love Buddy McGirt, who's assisting George Hernandez in uh, 
the corner of Granados, giving him the old pep talk, pumping him up. There's not the zip on the punches of Granados, but the volume is still there. And Imam holding on a lot. Total punches, wow. Look at the total for Granados. That's not a bad total for Imam. Several rounds, he's above the division average, but Granados, two rounds in a row, over 100. Three out of four rounds over 100. That's pretty impressive. Doing exactly what he needs to do. Yep. And, and almost from the get-go, he has dictated the tempo of the fight. <laughs> Imam holding the left arm of Granados. Well, Imam is growing up before our eyes. Unfortunately for him, he may be growing up with a loss. Yeah. One minute remaining in round eight. Granados is doing enough in this round as well. And Imam may just be out of gas. Very few answers from Imam. Imam looks like he's ready to go to me. Well, he's exhausted. He's getting hit flush. Granados won't stop, Barry. Really a tremendous performance, a really gutsy performance, and he saw him on goal. He's about to drop. Granados trying to close it here. That's it. Well, Steve, every now, every now and then it happens. And that's what keeps us coming back to watch more and more fights. You have to love a kid like Granados. He had no right being here, no right winning this fight, and look what he did. And he did it with heart, he did it with energy, and he got dropped in the first round by a really good fighter and came back and wore him down and wore him out. Yeah, came, came back and never got off the gas, stayed on the gas, really from, from the time of the knockdown. And it's doing exactly what he said. And this is the guy, he told us after he lost to Solomon, he lost to Diaz, he said, I almost cashed it in. I almost gave up the sport. And he came back. He won that fight that you talked about earlier against uh, Soto Caras. And, and now there's no looking back for this guy. And now he told us, he's, he feels, he should be the guy to fight Postal. He might be. <laughs> if you beat the guy who's number one, you should be number one. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have the time of two minutes 34 seconds in round number eight he is the winner by way of technical knockout vanka partekao adrian tigre granado so just to correct that, we had a, a wrong uh, scorecard from the officials. At, it, at the time of the stoppage, it was a majority, would have been a majority decision in favor of the man who won the fight, Granados. But he went out there and he earned it, Steve.